DCS was founded in 2018 with the goal of recording lens data for film and television productions. All of this came out of a real need for um, lens data for post-production, but with the advent of virtual production, LED screens, motion capture, we've now been able to add in this streaming feature which takes that same lens data and delivers it real time to a media player. A big part of virtual production is about capturing movement and motion and the LDT is perfectly placed to be able to capture the movement and motion of the lens rings to be able to be reflected on the actual LED screen. When we were recording data for post-production, that's a nice thing to have. It's a perk and it's really important but not essential. For virtual production, lens data is absolutely essential and required to actually make the environments work correctly to whatever the lens movements are. On the LED wall, when the zoom is adjusted, not only is it going to change the size of the frostrum, it will also affect the focal length of the image itself. The LDT actually stands for Lens Data Translator and that is because it can take in lots of different languages and then convert them in box and send them out to a media player. The LDT is able to take in lens data in three different ways. One of the ways is via a follow focus system where it will take that directly into the box and then we build lens tables on the box itself. Another way is straight off a smart lens into the device where no lens tables are required or we also have our own frictionless encoders which enable us to make up lens tables in the box as well and can be used in any combination in any way. Once the data has been brought into the box, we now can send that to a media player such as Unreal Engine, Disguise or Stage Precision and we can deliver that either wirelessly or for a wired solution as well. So when we're shooting in an LED volume, like we're in now, it's fundamentally important that we understand the position and orientation of the camera, which we determine by using these passive markers. But equally important is the lens data, the, the fizz data, or focus, iris and zoom information that the lens is giving us. We need to be able to pass that fizz data uh, digitally into our real-time game engine, and that allows us to be able to correctly render not only the perspective of the camera, but also uh, its depth of field and where it sits in its colour gamut, enabling real-time alterations to the virtual set. Target 3D's uh, approach to evaluating technology is to identify uh, new bits of kit that we find exciting uh, across the different verticals that our tracking technology sit within. One of the things that we're really excited about with the LDT is it sits in uh, a traditional workflow that filmmakers are already used to. Wherever possible, we like to try and get hands-on with these complicated pieces of kit from camera tracking, uh, lens encoding equipment, as well as all of the other components of a virtual production stage to try and deliver a turnkey solution for our clients that stays on budget and within their scope. 